Hey there, Alathea Church. I hope you are doing well whenever it is you are watching this video. Uh, man, this week we've tackled some big topics in Jonah chapter 3. The first big trifecta we talked about was salvation. And we said when it comes to salvation, there are three parts. There's God's part, there's my part, and there is the other person's part. And we know that God is always going to do his part in the work of salvation. But one of the questions we're left with is, are we doing our part? Are we doing our part to share the gospel message with someone else? Particularly the person we're talking about is our one. Our one campaign, our desire to have every person at Aletheia Church attempting to reach someone else. Remember our slogan, each one reach one. So we hope you are doing what you can to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ, knowing that God is faithful to do his part. Now, when we think about God and his role in salvation, there are three things it is helpful to think about. One, that God is sovereign. Two, that God is holy. And number three, that God is merciful. I know you're going to have a great and wonderful time discussing the sovereignty of God in your gospel communities this week. Have some fun with it. Ask some questions. Don't be afraid. But here's the simple thing. The Bible tells us that God is sovereign over all things, including salvation. Now, the question is, do you want to fight against it or do you want to embrace it? Trust me, it is one of the most comforting things in the entire world to know that God is sovereign over salvation. That gives you incredible confidence, confidence that when you go to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with someone, guess what? You know that God is sovereign over that situation. Evangelism and being good at evangelism or being successful at evangelism is not defined by a conversion. Success is just you simply sharing the message of Jesus Christ. That's what you've been commanded to do. It's what you've been told to do. Just be faithful in your task. And also remember that God is merciful. God has been merciful toward you, and God will be merciful toward those who don't yet know Christ. Please believe that in your heart. Don't be afraid to talk about the mercy you've experienced. One of the ways that we so often shortchange the gospel is that we're afraid to talk about sin. We're afraid to talk about sin being evil in the eyes of a holy God who is pure and righteous and without fault. Remember how holy God is. That tells you how sinful you are. Remember the punch in the nose example that we talked about. So remember that God is sovereign, God is holy, and God is merciful. That should give you incredible confidence to share the gospel with people. And also remember our third trifecta. Uh, trifecta. Salvation is from God, by God, and to God. So salvation and being fr uh, is from God is the fact that we're under God's wrath. And for those who do not know Christ, those who continue to reject Christ and to say no to him, believing they can be a good person and earn their way to heaven, they will experience God's wrath for all eternity. So that is how salvation is from God. It's from God's wrath. But also remember that salvation is by God. It is God who is working out that person's salvation. You don't have to fear. You don't have to fret. And don't have any fear of man because it is God who is ultimately responsible for that person's salvation or, them, or that person not becoming saved. Your job is just to faithfully proclaim the good news about Jesus Christ. And the, the, the last, my favorite part of this whole thing is that salvation is to God. That for those of you who have been saved, take incredible comfort in knowing that one day you will experience full uh, unification with God in his, in, be in his presence forever and ever and ever um, in the most wonderful place in the new heavens and the new earth. So go forth, make disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything that he has commanded you. Have a great week.